Good evening and welcome back. As you can see today we're playing Whale Breast away. We had a 3-0 win in the last match against a terrible Mallorca. They were really bad and we, we probably should have scored more. But uh, we've got a few changes today. They've got the likes of Ruben Castro coming back in, Fabio Vieira, Cousins. Got the strong back four. So yeah, let's jump into it. Beautiful looking stadium. And it's in the day, which is nice to see. Get a lot of night matches, but it's good to see a big stadium like this at daytime. And yeah, although the last match was comfortable, um, we certainly weren't at our best. And I think it was almost like Mallorca playing so badly affected how we played as well. It was a, a strange game. But hopefully better this game. Although the league is, uh, I mean, we're 13 points ahead now. So extremely comfortable at the moment. Here's Martinelli. Oh, Castro. Good save. Should have scored there. Really should have scored. That was beautifully worked. Ooh, they got lucky there. The ball could have gone anywhere. Oh, lovely ball of Cousins. Oh, what a finish. That was absolutely hammered in there. The ball in from Vieira, I think it was, to Cousins, and he just hammered it in with his right foot. Yeah, lovely pass. That little touch with his right, and then smashed it in. What a start and what a goal. That's more like it. And I nearly didn't play Kusan today because Mariba's on and up. So I thought, well, I'm going to bring him in. But I wasn't sure who it was going to be for. Originally, I thought of Kusan's, But I actually uh, dropped Herrera to the bench. Um, so that was a good decision in the end. Here's Castro. Nice little ball to Perez. For some reason, Perez didn't uh, get onto it first time. Reba, Castro, Martinelli. Oh, what a finish. What a volley. Again, it's the quick passing that's doing it. Fired in here from Reba. Little pass from Castro. Bounced up. What a volley that is from Martinelli. Castro with another assist. Yeah, and in the last video, we did look at the month's uh, stats, and Castro had 10 assists. He was the top there, 10 assists in eight possible matches. Now, obviously, he didn't even play in every single match. Um, brilliant stuff. Martinelli, Castro, good save. Probably should have scored, though. That's it. The, the system we play, the, the striker is really not the biggest goal threat. The, I mean, you know, Castro scores goals for fun sometimes. Uh, Xerxes too. But it's they're really there for the link up. They pass it off to the wingers or they attack midfielders. Um, that's why they get a lot of assists. It's really the wingers that tend to get the goals for us. Oh, that's a poor effort from Castro. Probably should have passed it. But like I say, I mean, Castro himself is a magnificent goal scorer. He's probably one of our best finishers. Uh, well, he, well, he definitely is one. Whether he's the top one, I'm not sure. But um, he's such a natural goal scorer. Oh, just wide. I should have been back in the game there. The one thing I'll say is, and I've mentioned it a few times, haven't seen Emerson as much involved um, 
Now, when we first signed him and Baka, I would say he seemed to be the one that I was more convinced he was going to be the better signing for the wing backs. Um, the more attacking, the more involved, and I thought Baka was going to be the more sound defensively. And it sort of almost worked out the other way. Um, oh, that would have been a brilliant goal. Look at that turn. But yeah, Emerson started great, and he's a, he's a great player, but he just he doesn't really contribute a lot in terms of assists, which I thought he would do. Um, Baka has done more so as time's gone on. But again, he's very, very quick, and don't really see him putting any bad performance as such. And our wing backs are really there for support more than anything. So they're not the you know the biggest threat that we're after. Just there for support to contribute now and again, but may need to to keep goals out, I would say. Nice play there. Good tackle. Because there, uh, Martinelli was just looking for a pass there. Oh, brilliant tackle from back here. Ruben Castro, what a finish. Smashed through the keeper. And just when I was talking about back here, what does he do? He gets the ball back high up the field. A nice run, a tidy little pass. It's smashed in. Keeper probably should have done better. I mean, it was hit with, you know, a lot of power by Castro, but uh, you've got to think that if you're the keeper, you've got to stop that. It was, it was almost directly through him. Nice tackle there from Omarajic. Martinelli, Castro, Martinelli again. Oh, Martinelli's through here. And there it is, that's four. He is clinical out on that left wing. Yeah, nice little one too. But it's that first touch and the burst of pace. Slot it on the keeper. And there's absolutely no doubt when he gets into this position, he's just going to slot it away. And already 4 0 just before half time. Been very clinical in this game so far. Again, back a break sort of gets a little bit lucky, unlucky actually. Here's Castro. And there it is, half time. Cousins, Martinelli, Castro with the goals. And Real Betis apparently had 55% possession. Don't know how because it seemed like we had the ball pretty much all of the time. But uh, it's goals that count. Into the second half. Now, I want to keep this going. We didn't make any subs in the last game, but I think we're certainly will in this one. Castro. Perez. Ooh. It's quite a way wide in the end, but it was worth an effort. Good tackle there. Mariba gets it back. How is Mariba not strong enough there? The uh, the AI got some... I don't know, the, the strength thing is a bit weird when you're playing the AI at the speed as well. Players that are clearly a lot stronger lose out. Nice little thought of a pass there, just wasn't executed. Oops. Keeper did an air kick. It wasn't uh, even his ball. Martinelli now. Martinelli. Oh, well wide. It's not like him. 
That was for the hat trick as well. There he is Castro back on it again. Perez. Oh, a lovely little turn there. There's no way you're going to get through there. Don't know where that defender came from. He's super quick. Haven't seen much of Vieira at all, actually. Especially in the uh, second half. And we'll make some subs soon. See when the ball goes out in the next few minutes. Oh, lovely play by Emerson there. And charging forward. Oh, lost the ball. Made the wrong decision. Should have passed it or should have, well, just not cut that way. Yeah, we're tracking back. Nice little ball to Perez there. That's not a foul. There will be a corner. We'll try and make some subs. So we're going to bring on Xerxes for Ruben Castro, Pierre for Carlos Perez and Houghton for Fabio Vieira. Ooh, very good corner, and uh, just couldn't get enough power on it, really. Good effort. He's crossing out. Zixi. Share. He was getting his shirt pulled, which they always seem to do and get away with it. Still got the shot away, though. Play this one a little bit harder. It's Costanu again, only hit it wide. There's two chances Costanu's had in uh, these corners. When we've got Cousins taking those, it's, uh, it's, it makes a massive difference. Yeah, definitely see that. Sixy. Abuget. Lovely ball to Martinelli. Oh, good save. That was a powerful finish. Maybe not as accurate as wanted to be. Should have been more towards the corner, but keep it did well. There he is, Emerson. Loses out, but wins it back. He's very pacey and he's pretty strong as well. And that's the tackles are weird because they always uh, I'm not going to get into it but and that's got to be a foul come on finally get one it's just absolutely lunging in there lovely cross Six, he couldn't get it. Good tackle there. Yeah, to Zixi. Martin and he couldn't hold it. yellow card for our first foul it was a pretty hefty one though good tackle there get unlucky actually It's not who I was trying to pass it to. Never mind. Good tackle. How is that? This is what I mean about the tackle. Sometimes the, the, the physics detection is a bit odd. 
Nice pass somehow. Bridget hasn't got the pace, even though he's just got fresh legs and he's just come on. Um, looks like it's just going to be the four. I say just, but you know. Bridget again. Sexy. Emerson. Now Emerson again. Just kept it in. Here's Bridget. Why? Why is the referee blew his whistle there? I literally had the ball in the box and I was about to shoot. I was going to score. That is the worst. Look. I'm on the ball. I'm just about to shoot. If it was a penalty, fair enough. What a horrendous decision that is. Yeah, what a ridiculous referee. Anyways, full time, 4 0. And somehow, Real Better still had the better of the possession, but look at that 16 shots with 11 being on target. That's all you can say, really. It doesn't matter about the uh, possession. Real Betters were pretty awful. And Castro, man of the match, and I'm sure Martinelli was a close second. Cousins played well, too. Very good all round performance. Shame we didn't score more goals in the second half. But that's it for today, guys. The next match is back in the Europa League, the first leg against Atalanta at home. Massive match there. Hopefully we can get through that one. But thank you very much for joining. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and think about subscribing to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Cheers.